What's up guys? There was a couple days off where I didn't make videos. I was planning to, but it just happened this way and I was very lazy. But right now we're in the middle of the Armand's fusion. And as you can see from my gems, I have been having a little bit of trouble. I barely somehow made it through the current Dungeon Diver 7th with all of the games that I had left. Of course, I did waste a lot of games on the uh, 1 plus 1 ancient event, where I didn't even get an ancient, but it is what it is, but barely I got enough. At least, actually I got like 150 too much in the end, but we got like a couple hours left to finish this event, and I barely did it with the energy that we got from the daily quests. And But anyway, let's not... This video topic is not going to be about Armands, there will be videos about that as well. But today we're going to do live arena. There isn't too much time left either. I missed almost the first hour, but we're going to do it anyway. But I've kind of, um, kind of because of White King Narthus, people started building champions a lot more tanky and using less bolster. We're seeing like more lockout in classic arena defense, very high HP builds, I'm talking like Talking like builds like my Dutch's 160k plus HP, these kind of builds, but in stone skin, not bolster. And this is kind of making it very hard indirectly for Xena as well in Live Arena, because often when I only have two good nukers, Rotos and Narthus, they are gonna ban other one and pick one of them. That's what usually happens. And I still have to use my D tier nukers. And with this change in builds and strategies, I haven't really had enough damage on Xena. And that's why I'm testing a bit different thing and she got demoted. As you can see, her gear is a lot worse. And I put my better stuff on Windows actually. Both of them have the same issue that they are basic nougars without too much utility. They do have a little bit, but it's not some kind of tankiness. The difference is that Xena can cut in a lot easier, while Quintus can't, but Quintus does have more damage than Xena, so maybe with Necret and Helicat we can still stay alive, and especially against those Harima teams, Quintus has much better time at killing them, so we're gonna see if I can use him a bit more, and as you can see, this is clearly way better than the Xena build, so we're just gonna go with this. Almost 9,000 attack and he's not even empowered and it's with a 2 star blessing, but... Anyway, let's get into the fights. I don't have too much gems to spare, so I don't know how many... I mean, how many refills I can buy, but maybe we don't have enough time to use them anyway, so... But yeah, I kind of had a bad weekend, I slept bad, I was playing Rust and... I just, uh, I was both tired and demotivated and I was just gonna skip making videos on Saturday, but then it spiraled out and I didn't make any videos for three days. It, it is what it is. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make excuses about it, so that's what happened. Some people were asking why I didn't make Classic Arena reset video yesterday. I might still make it today, I do have the footage, I was just way too tired to actually speak and talk about it, or even edit the video, so... Oh, come on. We're already missing one hour, so we don't have time to play a lot with these long queues. But yeah, even though I was in coma for a couple days, I definitely don't want to miss Armands, and you shouldn't either. No matter how hard this fusion is, you don't want to miss out on this one. I'm definitely gonna use him in live arena, that's for sure. Probably not in classic arena, maybe some of the top, top accounts might try to use him. But in live arena he's definitely gonna be a very big deal. Yeah, I, I think the issue with classic arena is that on offense it's pretty safe and simple, that you're pretty much still gonna use either double Dara's offense or some kind of Narsus offense. 
you could and then people do use bombs a little bit very few people but bombs can be very fast sometimes and then against some teams you will lose the fight but basically the main three teams are still George, Narciss and Taras with the occasional bombs and that's pretty much it there is very little diversity in classic arena offense it's kind of the same with defense but we did see a little bit change after the Narciss update and I've been seeing a lot more speed teams and primal champions and lockout in defense but mainly what we're seeing is also I'm gonna go with early Narciss pick today instead of Duchess but what we're seeing is that people mostly opt opted into using lockout in their defense and they're still using the Taras and Maritska with Sifi Th that's pretty much what you see or maybe Taras, Maritska, Krixia and uh, yeah Tar Taras, Maritska, Krixia and UDK you still don't want to skip out on the UDK it just makes the fights a lot slower so <laughs> everybody's gonna use UDK regardless of even if they don't use Taras and Maritska they're still gonna use UDK Okay, so we're starting out with Justice and UDK. It kind of feels like he's going for Rotos. Maybe this will be a good test to see if I... Maybe I let him go with the Rotos and see if I can deal with this with Quintus. And yeah, Ankara has been growing on me like... I did one video with her before we got Narcissus, before I think they even announced the Narcissus event, and I was kind of disappointed with her a bit. I mean, like I, I said that she's okay, but probably on the same level as Python, but I think the main deal about her is her CC protection, which is very actually big deal since she does have both passive that permanently keeps your highest crit damage grid damage champion out of any CC and then she also does have cleanse and that's actually very relevant in live arena so I do like using her a lot okay so he's not going for Rotos I'm gonna assume that's a new Wukong it, it might be support and in that case he's gonna go for Rotos but yeah I think we're gonna go with Quintus I mean we don't really have any other choices here but Maybe we're also gonna go with Helicat. We could go with Arbiter too, but Windows does do his self attack buff, so we don't actually really need it. Yeah, either double reviver or. Yeah, actually, let's just go with double reviver. In case that's a Nook Wukong and he picks a lockout, I would have been in trouble if I went with Helicat. But yeah, Ankara is kind of weird because you definitely don't need to use her with Narthus and quite many of the classic arena offense teams are not even using Ankara, just Narthus. But you can use them both together and you can even use Ankara pretty well in live arena without Narthus. So it's a bit weird. It's very different than most of the other duos. Well, maybe Sylvia and Rotos is kind of similar because you can definitely use them both to stand alone, but they are still very good together. Okay, so it is a support Wukong. Who are we gonna ban? I was thinking either Harima or the Wukong, but let's actually ban the Wukong. So we're not gonna get any distractions. We of course can't cleanse the Polymorph. By the way, th there's been... People like don't like Polymorph and wanting to get nerfed and so on. I think one of the most reasonable ways to try to nerf it a little bit but not make it uh, not delete it from the game is that Polymorph definitely should be cleansable. But apparently it has to do with the coding and Polymorph isn't a debuff, it's something else. So But I think that would be one of the most uh, fairest way to nerf it that it just should be cleansable that's not gonna make it super easy to counter polymorph but at least you have the option to mitigate it if you want to a 
Okay, let's see if we can kill the judges with the ally attack. Windows does have... I mean, I think we can do it. Windows has very strong A1. Okay, not, okay, we did it, yeah. And she does do the guard hit if the enemy has no buffs on themselves like that judges didn't, so... Actually, we did the job. Granted, it's a level 99, so... I'm sure the gear isn't at the peak level that we're gonna meet today. Now, one of the issues with Quintus is still UDK, even though he can technically kind of be UDK counter, or could be, but because you can't actually buff strip stones, can actually let's, I think, no, let's not risk it. So, you can technically buff strip stone skin, but it's still 50-50 to do it. And Windows A2 does reset the cooldown of the A3 on a kill, which is a very good mechanic. But the issue is, as you saw, that we put the debuff on Harima because we targeted her, but UDK still took the actual damage hit, and we didn't do any damage, and we can't reset the cooldown of the A3. I could have risked and tried to buff strip the, the UDK and if that happened then he would have died and we would have resetted the cooldown but I wanted to play it safe and put the decreased defense debuff on Harima so that she doesn't do any damage. I mean we're pretty good here but I mean Ragas can easily one shot our entire team if if he has defense buff and uh, he has good gear, so we don't want to take too many risks. Even my, I don't know what is it, like 150k Angora, even she can easily get one shot by Ragas. If he gets a decreased defense on her. And I don't think my Angora has very high resistance. She doesn't have the 5 star blessing anyway, so... Okay, first fight was a win, but it was kind of slow start to, I guess, couple of slow days in a row, but um, let's see how we can do against better accounts with Quintus. I mean, there's definitely a reason why you don't see people using him, but the damage is okay, let's put it that way. Also, I have like 20 primal shards, and I'm waiting to see if we're gonna get those the second 2x primal event. Oh, it's the same guy. And I'm itching to pull my primals and hoping to get lucky on them, but I can't do it before we get the 2x primals, so. But at this point I would be pretty much happy with any of the primal nukers. None of them are really top tier except or None of them are like S tier, except um, Lazarus, but all of them are very good, so if I just were to get any of the Nougars, except the Scarab one, I would use them for sure. Even if I did get Frolny, I would totally use Fro Frolny, so... Okay, he went with Sifi and Maritz, I guess... I'm gonna mostly prioritize getting Narthus even before Duchess because I desperately need to get my two main Nukers, or at least one of them, because there might be battles where I don't get either one, but I definitely do need the Necret with Narthus, so I'm usually gonna go for early Necret as well. And if it so happens that he doesn't go with UDK, I will definitely go with Rodos, of course, but 
I'm not forcing the early Rotos pick anymore. Uh, I mean, I still want to go with Rotos every fight, but it's slightly easier now when I have one other good Nogar with Narhus. And if I can get the fight where they don't pick UDK or Harima, and I can go with Rotos and Narhus, then I'm gonna have a field day and I will, I will do very well in those fights. Wait, I don't even know what this champion does, to be honest. I don't think I have seen him in arena, but let's check after this fight. But yeah, we're definitely gonna go with Angora again, since we definitely want the planes against Ragas and Sifi too, but especially Ragas, and I guess we're gonna go with Ron Rodos. This is probably my best live arena team. Um, in vacuum, but it totally depends what they pick, so... But I used to not do the double reviver at all, and now I have been doing it very often actually, both with Duchess and Ankara, but also with some combination of um, either one of those two with Arbiter. I have kind of been making a comeback with my Arbiter as well, Mainly because, um, oh, I guess they were the partner. I I think I've maybe actually seen it before. <laughs> he has it at plus four. That's kind of funny. Uh, and they have buff strip. Do, I think they both had buff strip. M maybe I remember wrong. Uh, I think we're going to go for CV ban. Yeah. Wait, what was I saying? Something about the duo, but I was interrupted by my own thoughts. I don't think I have seen anybody with this champion at plus four, but, but then again, those people that would have her at plus four probably wouldn't use her, so <laughs> it's kind of funny thing to meet. By the way, here here is some uh, very very sad news. But I technically technically can do my first champion at uh, plus four now. I didn't make a video about it because, like I said, I was on coma on a Sunday. But I did get my one plus one on a sacreds. I totally should have made a video. I'm so dumb that I didn't make the video about it. That's like money that I threw in the garbage bin. But anyway. So, I think I got it on my third Sacred Pool, and it was my fifth Crypt King Graal, and then... What was the other one? I, I forgot the champion's name, but it's that Dara Fusion that we had maybe like half a year ago, or something like that. But Oh, he did block damage, I totally forgot about that. But yeah, so I got those two champions. I did actually get a Faction Guardians upgrade on Dars. So that's okay, I guess, but... Not happy ab about my fifth group King Kral. I wish that was pretty much anything else, but... I guess that's what we got. I think he might have even gotten a buff at some point, but I totally for forget what it was. Yeah, both of, both of us have like very tanky unkillable teams right now. Mine might uh, not technically be unkillable, but in practical terms it is. And we're just waiting for the buffs to end. Either one can really do anything w with these teams. Oh yeah, he... <laughs> He does have the buff strip. I think they both had a buff strip, if I don't re recall it wrong. It's kind of weird that both of the duo have it. Okay, actually, I'm kind of in trouble. I have the decreased defense. The Raka still has the nuke, right? 
Well, at least my Necro doesn't have decreased defense. Maybe he can survive the Ragasnook. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, never mind. I guess I'm good. I think we can just block revive this Nooker. <laughs> yeah, didn't even take... Ah, didn't even take two hits. And we got polymorphed. I have talked about this before, but Narthas getting polymorphed on his A3, which says something like places block revive debuff, which is kind of weird because that's a new thing. And Plarium has confirmed it's not intentional, it's a bug that will be fixed, but no idea when that's gonna happen, so... But I'm not supposed to get polymorphed, and I think actually on the yesterday's Classic Arena reset, I got polymorphed twice, and I think both of those fights were at the end, and I'm I'm sure I would have placed better if those didn't happen, because they the polymorphs wasted like a minute of my time each, so... But my my main main uh, obstacle in Classic Arena is still my defense, which actually used to be my strong suit back in the day when I was getting red avatars, but I don't have the champions to have a strong defense team in the current meta, and I think I got attacked like 6 or 8 times in the last 2 minutes or something like that, so... I was fairly high, I probably was in like the top 20 to top 50 range in the last 2 minutes, but then I, I think I got 150 or whatever I got, so... Let me double check. I can't even remember what I placed. Oh yeah, I got 134. Yeah, actually, now that I think about, about it, I would have definitely been in top 50, but probably even higher than that. Should I do the revive? I don't... This might be waste, but... Let's see what happens. He doesn't have the nuke, I don't think. So it's not like he can kill Narsus. I don't think he can one shot Narsus. Oh, he had it, but he got Polymorph. I guess it works that way as well. By the way, this is a funny thing. So I remember when the White Queen Angora um, event happened for her soul. I was very... Uh, split and thinking about it, but then I concluded that I probably couldn't even have done it without buying some gems or energy. And and I was thinking that there's no way that I'm gonna want to get her at 6 star, and pretty much on a support champion, 5 star is useless or not relevant, it only matters if you can get it to 6 star, and while 5 star does help in getting there faster, but I wasn't thinking that I would ever go for a 6-star Ankara, but actually I have changed my mind. If I if I did if I would have gotten her at 5 star soul, I probably would go for Ankara as the next 6 star champion. I would go for a 4 star Narsus and 6 star Ankara, and I could definitely aim for both of them at the same time, but that didn't happen. I don't think I'm gonna go for her 6 star unless I happen to pull a blessing for her, but the next champion is definitely gonna be a 4-star Narsus. But actually, 6-star Ankara would be very good. I would definitely use the Polymorph. Okay, I think we can finally get a chance to damage the Maritska and end the fight. Yeah, the, the duo actually made this very annoying, or not even the nuker, but the support with his block damage was kind of annoying to me. I mean, the, the nuker has okay multipliers. I think part of it is that that guy probably doesn't have the most sickest nuke gear, but obviously there is much better nukers, and that's why nobody uses her. Okay, so it's just 
basic block damage without anything else. And yeah, then he does have buff strip. And did the uh, and also have a buff strip? I guess she doesn't. I somehow thought that both of them had it, but I guess I remembered it wrong. But I do remember her multipliers. I think they were like four or something. Let me double check. They were like okay considering her kit, but. And that she has ignore defense, but. There is just a. Uh, the couple top nukers completely overshadow everything else. Okay, let's see what, what we got. Okay, 3.8 on the 8. Yeah, that's pretty good with the Ignore defense. And uh, it's kind of weird that she has both Ignore defense and decreased defense debuff on the same skill. Yeah, I'm sure that that can hit very hard in the right situation. But Ragas was definitely the scariest, scariest champion still in the team. Anyway, now that we wasted a bit of time, maybe we can get somebody else and not bully the low levels. Wait, was it the same guy or was it two different guys? Let me double check. Yeah, it was the same guy, okay. Oh, we're against Biohack again. <laughs> um, well, I don't think he's gonna go with the Justice, so it's probably fairly safe to go for the Thirspic Narciss against him. And Ankara is gonna be good because he's gonna use a speed team with uh, some kind of CC for sure. Or probably multiple champions, like maybe Lockout and... Um, Mikage or something like that. Okay, or or um or Wukong. Wait, uh, okay, that's a Nuke Wukong. But we obviously can't go with Trotos since he has both Warlord and UDK, but... Wait, he has... Uh, he can still go with Sifi. No, he can't go with Sifi. I think we can go with Nuke Helicat. Yeah. But... How much accuracy does he has, have on the Wukong? I'm sure it's enough. I don't think we can do it. I don't like my options here. He's gonna ban Narthus anyway, so... We're gonna have to play with whichever Nuker I pick. It's gonna be either Gwyntos or Staldos, but... Okay, let's go with Gwyntos just to troll with him. So... Here is Biohack's channel. He does do Black Desert online content as well, and he has another bigger channel there, so if you are interested of that game. How much reaction do I even have on Quintus? I think I have only like one piece or no pieces. Wait, he didn't he didn't ban the Narthus? So if I do proc reaction on, oh he's he might probably is gonna polymorph Narcissus I guess. If I do proc reaction on Narcissus then I can totally one shot his team. Maybe maybe there's a chance. <laughs> Let's see.
Okay. Oh, he went for A1. But he didn't proc the Basil. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I did proc the reaction, but I got cheaped anyway. So that sucks. And he still has the AoE nook. So even if we revive now, we're just gonna... Uh, Windows is not gonna get the turn. And if we don't do it, he could just do A1. So we already lost. <laughs> Maybe I can survive with Narsus if he does the AoE nuke. Probably not, but maybe. No, the Wukong is gonna... No? Can I get actually a turn with Narsus? Or is Quintus is just gonna move again with... Um, his total turn meter and he's gonna get turn meter boost. If my Narsus actually were to get a turn here, I might do some damage. Now, nah, okay. Yeah, I can't get a single turn with my nukers, yeah. Yeah, this, this is what happens when you're slow and you don't have Harima. It's kind of not very easy. If I didn't get Polymorph there, I could have totally one-shot his team with Narsus, but I knew that was gonna happen. I originally thought it was a support Wukong when the fight started, but it was a nuke one. But yeah, if if the if the Wukong couldn't do that, then I guess I could have won. But I think Wukong is pretty good. I. I like the fact that we have a champion that can go through stone skin and shuffle the deck a little bit. Interesting. So we see both Narsus and, I mean, Ankara and Mikake. And Ankara, of course, would have been very good against Mikake, so I definitely would have picked it if I could have, but no, we can't. Do I even want to go with you, DK? I was kind of considering considering going with you, DK, so that I could get Rotos. But since he already has the Mikake and I can't pick Ankara, I want to have at least a second immunity champion. Otherwise, we're gonna get the same, or I mean, we can still get the same thing, but I don't want to get the same thing again. We don't get a single turn in the entire fight with the Nukers, which happens way too often for me, so. And yeah, Mikake and Wukong are picked very often together, but I guess that's a Nuke Wukong. Okay, so let's see what we got today on Raid Reddit. Okay, we got one topic in relation to PvP. Okay, the fight, fight is getting a little bit heated. Wait, how did my Rotos not already die? Oh. He's probably like triple reaction. Nice. He only has one piece of reaction, not three, but I'll take three procs, but wait, wait. Can we just one shot everything here? I think we can. Uh, th that's what happens when Narhas gets a turn against a team with shield boss.
Okay, so this is an interesting question. Are defense-based nukers overall better than attack-based? So while you are getting damage on heroes like Saldus, Gnut, Harimo, you are also making them tankier and tankier, while attack-based nukers like Georgit, Leorios, Gandrafon, Mashaled are very squishy. Very squishy. What is the advantage of having attack-based nukers? Maybe the multipliers, where in general Varium likes to make both HP and defense scaling nukers a lot lower multipliers, except a couple exceptions like Arima and Taras, but generally they are insanely low multipliers compared to others. But also many of those champions that he put there, like for instance Leorios and Candrafon, they both do have utility to survive, and George it might not, but he's the hardest hitting champion in the game. Ah, again against Biohack. And now he even went with the... Wait, what? What happened? Went with the Narcissus, so... And yeah, I'm kind of... We have even worse nuker options this time. And I have to go with my Duchess, I think, that has shields. Yeah, let's open with UDK and Rotos. But yeah, they have those things. Usually defense scaling nukers have lower multipliers. And some of the really good attack scaling nukers, they have utility that lets them survive anyway. But also, defense doesn't make your champions that tanky. I've made videos about that in the past, but HP can make your champions tanky. Of course, you want to have both of them. But defense scaling nukers are not really that tanky in the first place. Only Harima is because of her passive, but if you have low HP, which defense scaling nukers generally don't have like insanely high HP, but if you have low HP since you haven't built any of it, even if you have, have high defense, that's not really gonna make you tanky. Okay, what are we gonna do here? Should I try to avoid shields so that I don't run in the Isu with Narsus? I also don't have five star soul on my Gaimar, so I don't I can't use it anymore and I'm pretty sure he's gonna go with the Wukong again so that we can't use uh Helicat. Oh fuck, running out of time. Uh I probably shouldn't have big dots, I should have gone with Ankara, but I was... I was slow. Now we do have the shields again. I, I was supposed to not pick the shields. Well... I guess we're gonna go with the Heligat. Yeah, I need to get a good means to counter a lockout. I kind of had not good means, but sometimes it was doable to go with my Kaimar, but ever since the update with the blessings, it's just not feasible to use him anymore. I don't have him empowered, and I don't have 5 star blessing, and I mean, it's just very hard to use re resistance champions against accuracy anyway, since they do have a massive advantage so with all of those things it's just so inconsistent to actually use it that i don't even have him built for arena right now can we get get a turn this time can i get some ripple reaction on rotos again no i think we got one brock but we would have needed to get two at least, I guess. Now, can we finish it with Helicat? He does have a very squishy team, but probably not.
at least we got the petrification that might be slightly annoying to his team. And we got the defense up early on on Helicat, so he can actually do more damage than he usually does, since I don't have a Sifi and he's only relying on his own defense buff, we, which he gets on a delay, so... Wait, wait, wait. I think we can just nuke them with AoE. Okay, that, that that was way easier than I thought it would have been. I guess... Uh, I don't know, maybe he overlooked the Helicat. I think he always picks the Wukong against me so that I can't use the Helicat or Mikage. But yeah, if you pick a squishy team like that against Helicat and you don't have buff strip, then he might be able to solo your team. I mean, Rotos didn't do anything in this fight. It was just all Helicat. Even UDK didn't really do anything. It was just Helicat with the buff from Mitrola that practically soloed his team. So I guess we finally got a revenge win against him. But yeah, the, the issue is that I used to rely on Helicat a lot and do very well because of him. But first of all, people know that I use Helicat, so they are prepared and I'm sure he's gonna pick the Wukong this time. But also in the current meta, there is just so many good champions with buff strip and block buff debuff that people are often gonna use them even before I pick Helicat or even if they don't know that I'm gonna go with Helicat, so... Should I go for the early Wukong? The, the issue is that he's gonna have Mikage and other options anyway, but I could almost go for the early Wukong. Wait, ugh. champions are not by the tax. Yeah, I couldn't find Narsus. In that one fight, they accidentally went with the epics, and now they were with the wrong, like, they were with ranks and not tax, and I couldn't find my Narsus. And now we went against UDK and Narsus. Nice. Well, I guess we're gonna go with the Polymorph. And maybe Angkor, yeah. But yeah, that wasn't my intention. I was supposed to pick the Narsus and go from there. Wait, he still has to pick one Nuker. Can we go with the Helicat again? Is he just for forcing the Helicat down on our throat, or does he have some solution against it this time? Um, and we also don't have any bolster in our team. I don't think I want to go with Necrot here. I guess we're gonna go with uh, Mitrola again. Really? I don't. As you can see, I'm kind of running out of options. There isn't that many champions that I can pick. Now let's just go. Now let's go with Mitrola. Yeah. Okay. But what is the new word that he can pick? I only got the Wukong, so I think he has to ban the. Wait, wait. I'm dumb. He's just gonna ban the Helicat, and I'm gonna have to be forced to fight against them. Um, I, he still has the lockout, so... Uh, Rotos is not gonna do well. Nah, no, fuck it. L let's do it. We do have the Polymorph, maybe we can make it work. Oh, he didn't even ban the Helicat. Interesting. Maybe we could have made the Rotos UDK matchup work with the Polymorph from Wukong, but he could have killed it before it gets a turn and it could have gotten very messy. Yeah, there's no revive here, so... Okay, yeah, and... I guess Rotos is gonna get the turn, but we can't do anything with the... If we can't first polymorph the UDK. Maybe if we would have proc the next turn there, 
That might... Wait, if we proc extra turn here, I think maybe we can... No, it's not gonna be enough, I don't think. Yeah, no matter, matter what I do here, Rodos is not gonna get another turn. Not easy. <laughs> We were one fight away from 4.9k, but I guess we didn't get it. Maybe we could have gotten it if I could have found, found Narthus, but the champion tags were messing it up. I don't know why he changed it to epics. I don't think I changed it on purpose. I don't know why it went to epics in the fight before that. Okay, this time we have the champion tags up and I can find Narthus. Not sure if that's really gonna help us, but it's still better to have him at least. I mean, it's the same thing I always compl complain about Harima. If I had Harima here, he would be forced to ban it in every single fight, and I, I could do way better against him, but... Harima is completely mandatory if you're going if you're using go second teams, it just... Not viable to use them without Harima. And everyone that does use them does use Harima, so I mean, that's the way it works. Maybe I will... Uh, I should have picked Arbiter. Maybe I will go with Triple Reviver against him. I guess he's gonna pick Arbiter now and I'm not gonna get it, but... I I should have picked Arbiter. That, that would have been funny. Yeah, he got it now. God damn it. I guess we're gonna go with Staldus, but my Staldus doesn't hit hard after the Blessing update. Is he gonna go with Wukong? Should I pick Wukong? Or Mikage. Maybe I, maybe I should go with Mikage. Kind of turn it around a little bit. Yeah, let's go with Mikage. I mean, my Mikage isn't gonna be faster than his Arbiter. And probably it's not gonna cut in between the Arbiter and the Nukers, but maybe it's gonna go after the second Nuker. I mean, after the first Nuker, before the second Nuker. I think probably George is gonna go before me and I don't know if he's gonna kill the Mikage or not. I, I guess he has to kill the Mikage, to be fair. But yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he has to kill the Mikage. Otherwise, I would win if if she gets a turn against this team. I should have picked Arby there on the second big face and <laughs> seen what he does in that situation. Then he wouldn't have had the attack buff. He would have gone with Sifi for sure, but no attack buff. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, now it's kind of looking good. Oh, he has Rotos in uh, Stone Skin, which kind of makes it a bit harder, but we're still gonna get the stun, which is a huge, huge deal for us. We might actually get a turn in this fight. Oh, yeah, he's going for it. <laughs> he's going for it if he can still make it so that we don't get any turns, but he did get the weak hit. I think there's a chance that I might have survived it, even if he didn't get tweaked it. At least, definitely if he didn't get Helm Smasher Brock, because I still had pretty big shield and so on. Oh, we what? I wasn't... I guess it's super fast Arbiter and it's not very tanky. I wasn't expecting for the Arbiter to die. Okay, now we're at 2-2. Two, two. Can we can we get um, a fifth matchup in row? Best out of three. How about that? Okay, not him this time.
But yeah, I don't think I have... Well, I don't. I haven't fought Biohack many times. Maybe two or three times before this, but... I, I haven't won against him before, so... Now, now we finally won against him twice. I think I'm gonna go with the UDK in this fight. I instead of Necrot. Should I do it? Yeah, let's do it. That way he can't... Focus Narses with the um, single target nuke and so on, or Dutchess or whoever. And we can go with the Rotos. I don't think he's. Yeah, he's. Oh. Hmm. Do I want to go with Rotos? I don't think I do. Yeah, maybe, maybe the UDK wasn't the best pick after all. I don't think I have any other choice. I must go with. Rodos, I'm, but I'm pretty afraid of the Mesomel. Doing a block rev revive with his with her double hit. If like Georgie does the AoE nuke and oh he banned Rodos. If Georgie does the AoE nuke and damages us first, then Mesomel might be able to do the block revive, but I guess we're good. I'm not really too afraid of her doing it against any of the current champions I got in my team. I think the lowest HP in our team is <laughs> is Narses with 122k HP or something like that. Everybody else is 150k plus HP. Okay, uh, if I can, I think I can cut in now if I do the Angora revive. I should make my Angora build a bit faster, but I still want to her, her to be in tanky 6-piece stone skin. And I just don't have the perfect gear set on her right now, so she's a bit slow. Okay, come on. Surely we are gonna get a turn before the... Okay, nice. And we're definitely gonna block revive the Mesomel <laughs> before she block revives us. Good. Oh, she has Swift Parry on Sifi. Swift Parry is kind of forgotten set that isn't really popular anymore and <laughs> there is just better options, but sometimes do you do see her on Revivers. Some, I remember when we got the White King Narciss and people were talking about it, some people were like sarcastically saying that Swift Parry meta is back, but nobody thought that even for a second. It's still way better to go with 6p stone skin. But it's kind of uh, sad in a way, though of course the game has to move on and there is gonna be intended power creep and like, we first had the Savage, and then we get the Lethal, and then we get the Merciless, and so on. They're gonna have to do this by design, and it's also a good catch-up mechanic for new players. But that also means that Swift Parry, which is a set that is very hard to get, is totally useless. I think the only, only place where I really use Swift Parry is in Clan Boss. I think Every champion in my clan boss team is in Swift Barry, only for the reason that I'm using like a very fast 3-1 speed team in clan boss, and as you might know, I don't have any speed gear, so it's um, the, the the best way I can make fast builds for a PVE is with is with Swift Barry, so that's how I did did do it. And th that was years ago. I think my clan boss team is probably like two years old at this point and I haven't touched it. I'm sure I could make it a lot stronger, but it doesn't matter either way. I think we're doing pretty good today, 
I think there was two fights that we lost because I didn't pick in time, which you have seen happening before. Was it two fights? Maybe not two fights if we only have two losses. One fight because of that. I think the first fight we definitely would have lost either way, but I think the second loss might have been preventable if I went with the Narciss and not first pick Rotos, but it's actually looking pretty good. I think the new the, the Gwinzo strategy might not be working for me, but I don't really have other good good uh, options to put my Avax scaling nook set on anyway. But the strategy of using Angora and Narciss a lot and Angora even separately, th that has definitely been working, so we have made some improvements. Wait, w I think I was somewhere in the middle ranting about Swift Parry, but I forgot where I <laughs> interrupted myself. Anyway, I might as well show my clan boss team. It's kind of RNG, sometimes it does uh, very high damage and sometimes it barely does the damage to one key, but I can definitely one key, Th that's not the issue. Yeah, I think it can maybe do like 120 million at tops, but I am sure I could do way more damage with this team if I put better gear on them, but it doesn't matter, so there's no reason to improve the gear. But I think everybody in this team is in Swift Parry except Seeker, who is in Poison set because he has to be very slow. Oh, I have two keys that I haven't used. That's kind of a little bit embarrassing. Yeah, people are even using Ukraine Duo in, in Clan Boss. That's where we're at. They don't even need like unkillable or any speed tool. You just slap in the Ukraine duo with marriage gun. That's it. I don't think we're gonna ever see the Ukraine duo nerfs. The Wario has shown that they really don't want to do it, but if any nerfs were even ever to happen in this game, it should be the Ukraine duo, but I guess they're not gonna do it. Okay, do we have anything else interesting on Reddit today? Wait, is that actually is that actually a mad player? I guess somebody is just trolling with their name. I have no idea who that is, so I'll have to double check it after this fight. I guess we're gonna see a lot of primals. Yeah, primals this time. Okay, by the way, now I actually can remember the champion's name. It's kind of being a meme that I never remember, but it's called Arbeis. I can I can't maybe pronounce it, but I can re remember it at least this point. Uh, should I go with UDK and Rotos? Just to make sure that I get get myself a new card, though. I'm pretty sure he's gonna go with Harima if I do that. Nah, we're, we're gonna go for it. He already picked our base, so there's a decent chance that he might not have a room to go with Lockout and Arima. It, it kind of depends on what he picks, but maybe he's not gonna do it. If the Harima is bannable, oh, okay, he's going. He's not even going for Harima. It's like a speed team. Should I pick Arbiter as my last champion? He would pick Arbiter, I'm almost certain. Well, m maybe not. He doesn't need it with the Mikage buff. Probably he's just gonna go with Sifi. Never mind. Yeah, le let's just go with this and we need to double reviver against this and let's pray that we get a turn with any of the Nukers.
Oh yeah, do I have anything else to say, say about the defense thread? Yeah, I guess everything was said that needed to be said. To be clear, kind of... Oh, he went with triple nuker. I guess we're gonna ban the Mikake. To be fair... Um, even if you look at the current champions that we have, not too many HP or defense scaling nukers are used, but like... <laughs> By used, I mean even like a little bit, not not even top tier, but literally all of the HP and defense scaling champions are uh, Ragas, Harima, those are the only defense scaling nukers, and then Taras and uh, Narsus on HP scaling ones. That's all of the good ones. Then there's some others like Saldus or Arix that are a little bit used by bad accounts, but Basically, there's only in total four good champions on HP scaling and defense scaling nukers. And it's not like there isn't tons of them in the game, but they just are not worth using. I mean, to be fair, Narthus and Taras and Harimar are all pretty, pretty top tier in the game. And I guess you could, you could technically even call Rotos an HP scaling nuker, but he mostly scales from the attack. Damn, my, my voice is kind of dying a little bit. Uh, I just can't do anything with that Arbice in the team. Yeah, if I had... What should I even do? Yeah, I guess in either way I'm screwed. Wait, I was supposed to revive the Duchess and not the Necrot. Anyway, we lost. If I had the Narcissus in this team, I could have revived the Narcissus with turn meter and... <laughs> Wait! The UDK was actually kind of useful. We almost got a turn if it wasn't the Soul Reaper proc. That's kind of funny. But yeah, we were lost. Yeah, I, I have no idea who that is, but I, I guess it's somebody... Somebody in mad. Is it? No? No? Uh, was it from the second clan? Okay, okay, yeah, it's somebody. Anyway, he, he was just flexing on us with his, um, with his champion pull. Not like we could do anything against that with Rotos and his uh, stone skin Arpais, but the alternative is that I would have picked Staldus and it probably would take me like, I don't know, five turns to kill Taras, maybe even more than five turns, and Taras could one-shot Staldus in any turn of his, so... I had to go with Rotos, but the Arpais was just too good against it. And if I went for the Arpais ban, then of course he would just one-shot anybody with the Mikake ally attack. But maybe after the fusion I'm finally finally go, gonna have my own um, past champion, which is gonna be in stone skin, so... Maybe if I had Armans in that fight, it might have been faster than the Arbois, and may maybe that could have worked out. Anyway, I mean, if I were to... If we are being fair, I probably shouldn't ever be able to win against a like that. I mean, 
I might be able to do it sometimes, but of course it's not very fair for the for the whales if an Akon like me can beat them. And of course, I mean, you kind of want there to be a possibility to beat them, but if they spend that much money and they still lose, then probably they wouldn't even be playing the game, so it is what it is. Okay, so Biohack went with the Rotos this time. In interesting. Pretty sure he's still gonna spe peak a speed team. Should we go with the Arbiter to mess with him a little bit? I think he's gonna... Uh, should I do it? Let's go with the Arbiter. Let's see, let's see what he does. And maybe he's gonna go with Mikage this time. Maybe like Sifi and Mika again, then charge it. That will still be a very good team. And he does have the charge it in Horpy Stone skin. Okay, I guess we're committing ourselves to a speed team this time, so let's go with the Mika again Arbiter. Or like Mika again Quintus along with the Arbiter. Oh, he went with Karcher. Maybe I can... Maybe I can cut in after the... Karcher, um... Turn meter manipulation. He can't ban both the Arbiter and Mikage, so... Probably he's gonna have to ban the Mikage. And I will still have... One speed booster in my team. Or one very fast champion. Come on, let's get a win. <laughs> Then we would win the best out of three, or I guess you can't, we, we both already won two fights, so I guess you can't call it best out of three. Best out of five, whatever. Oh, okay, so Mikaki actually did cut in. I mean, yeah, she does have the stone skin, so I guess that helps with it a little bit, but he also has both of his nukers in the stone skin, so that's, that's kind of unfortunate. I guess we're gonna have to ally attack the Kaja, and surely we can kill it. No? Ah, uh, okay, that's kind of disappointing. Wait, if if I proc, proc reaction, okay, I didn't proc reaction, but I don't think he got Helm Smasher proc. Wait, maybe we're good. Maybe we're good. Should I gamble and try to buff strip the UDK? Well, he probably has resistance anyway, so. Better to do this now, and Rotos can't target the Narciss, and... Well, he still has the UDK, I guess I can't really... Wait, I have two, I have two turns left of the well. Mm. Yeah, we just do this now, and then on the next turn we do that. Wait, I thought I had two turns of well. Never mind. I guess we lost. Well, in, in either case, I couldn't one-shot the Rotos. I could still do the AoE and kill it on next turn, but I don't think I'm gonna get a next turn. Okay, what? How did my... Um... <sighs> I misclicked. Oh my god. How did my Quintus survive it? I misclicked and accidentally put out on. I was supposed to target the other skill to change her form, but I guess I screwed that up. Okay. Ah, we weak it. 
But the question is, can we still win this? I think it, it's going to be um, close. If he procs, our, um, if he procs the Halo Smasher on his A2, I think we're still going to lose it. So it's going to come down to Iron G, I think. Okay, that was definitely without the Helm Smasher proc, and next turn we can get the Revive. I think we should be good. Okay, and we didn't get a stun, we got resisted. Nice. Okay, and Narsus survived it. Great. Oh, wait, I don't think I have the cooldown out of the of the A3, but he does have three Yeah, he does he does have three buffs, so we could have block revived it, but we don't have the skill out of cooldown. Should I go for the ally attack? But that means that I can't uh, I can't reduce the turn meter of the Wukong. I don't know if I should do it actually. Let's stay in this form. Every time Mika get, takes a turn, she will reduce the Wukong turn meter by 30% in this form, but not the other one, and it's not worth missing out on that. Okay, surely we won at this point. Now we can even change the form. Oh, it wasn't enough damage. Maybe I should have hit the Wukong instead. Should I do it now? Yeah, let's do it so that... Oh yeah, <laughs> I can't target it anyway, I'm dumb. Okay. The moment of truth. Okay, we survived it. I guess my Duchess is pretty tanky, but I don't think he brought Helm Smasher on either one of those A2s. Okay, so we did actually, we did actually win our mini tournament against Biohack. I don't think either one of us was expecting this because I think before this I hadn't won a single fight against him, but we finally did do it. And I even have enough gems to buy one last refill for the last couple fights. And we're past 4.9k, so... Nice. But yeah, I think um, going for first big Narcissus is definitely the way to go for me in future. I don't think I'm gonna go for first pick Duchess anymore. I still want to get her, but I don't completely have to have her in every fight. Now that I basically have three kind of usable revivers. Even though Duchess is definitely my main one out of the three, but if I had as good gear on Ankara. She will probably be pretty much as good as Duchess, so it's kind of 50-50 to be fair. Lazarus and Grixia. Let's go with Wukong, so that we're gonna have as much Polymorph as possible against a thing like this with my account. The, the issue is that Lazarus, of course, can have a hard time against Polymorph, I just don't have it, so I always get destroyed by him. And ba basically the only two champions that I have with Polymorph and Accuracy are Wukong and Duchess, or 6-star Polymorph or Accuracy. Even Mikaki doesn't have enough Accuracy against him, so... Oh, he went with that champion. I think it's called Siegfried. He has very hard-hitting single target nook that can hit them in harder than Rotos. I think we're gonna go with UDK against it. 
But then I'm super... I don't have any, like... I feel like I probably have to go with Necret against him. Necret or Heligat. I don't have any protection this, this way. Yeah, I think we have to go. <sighs> but, uh... Damn it. Let's go with Helic at the, as the Nugar. The um, Lazarus does ignore shields, so... Even Necret wouldn't be that good against him. He does have the block buff Depa, so... You might kind of wonder why did I even... Go with Helic against him, but... All of my other options suck too, and we do have the two Polymorph champions, so maybe we get lucky here. And we do have claims too, but we're still gonna miss out on the rock damage. Oh nice. We He hit 80k, and that was with reaction rock. Imagine how hard that skill actually hits. That was, that, that was without critical strike. Okay, can we, I think I have to go for that. Lazarus and just pray that I don't weak it. Nice, nice. Okay, now we're actually getting somewhere, but of course the only Nugger that we have is Helicat, so... It's gonna be very, very hard killing him. He does have pretty tanky if he do. Even though it's with only one reviver in the team. Mm, yeah, let's save the planes for later. Come on, let's get one last win as the last fight and then we're good for today. He, he does have very sick team or sick champions but the team comp is a little bit um, weird I'm sure he could probably draft even better team against me come on no weak hit against the Lazarus okay nice only tw 25k, and that wasn't a weak hit. I mean, it, it was with uh, without defense buff, and my Helicat is built for speed and doesn't have a 3-star um, blessing for, is it 650 defense? That's a big amount of damage that he's missing, but still 25k seems a bit low. So we lo we lost the block damage, but we did we did still get rid of the block buff debuff, and we can get it back up on the next turn. So, oh, the if he almost died to that. Getting close, but I think now we're gonna get one shot. Now it's looking pretty bad. There's no way Helicat can survive that one. Nice, the support Wukong has higher oh the support Wukong has higher crit damage, so the sleep was actually removed, but I think the fight is over, yeah. We almost killed the Sifi. I think if I just had three star blessing on oh, not even we definitely would have won the fight if I had three star blessing on Helicat. That would have been enough damage to kill the Sifi, but sadly we're not uh, we're not quite there. To be fair, if I can kill a team like this with 3 star blessing, then I am in a pretty good position, so 
I can't get too mad about losing to an account like that. And yeah, we, we would have definitely won it because the Sifi almost died and 650 more defense on Helicat would be a massive damage increase. It wouldn't be a small one. That's the reason why you don't see Tormin on my list either. Tormin was already struggling with damage and now that he lost defense after the blessing update, if you don't have a high enough level of blessing, his damage is so low for me that he's not worth using at all. Maybe he will make a comeback at some point, but for now I'm not using Tormin at all. Damn, we dropped back to 4.8k and I'm sure we're gonna lose this fight as well, so we're not even gonna be close after two days' uh, session ends. He actually went with the Ankara and didn't let me have it. Do I have to go with the, with the speed team against him? I, I guess we do. So the, the Ankara is gonna Cleans his team pretty well, so I don't know if we want to go with Mikake, but I guess we're gonna go with Arbiter. If that's the way he's playing, then I guess we have to do it. And I'm I'm sure he's gonna pick like Harima and Taras and go for a ultra tanky team, so it's not gonna be easy. We still have to ban the lockout. But I could technically go with Mikage. I'm sure my Mikage would be faster than his Duchess, I assume. Ah, never mind. Leorios is protected by CC. I can weak hit on Duchess and then he also does have the Ankara. Would I really want to go with Mikage? I think we're gonna go with Helicat instead. Come on, let's get one last win for the end of the video and I would be super happy. We kind of met many of those guard accounts at the end and I don't think I beat any of them, but maybe we could beat this one and then that would make up for all of the losses that we got against the other ones. Let me get a comfortable position for this upcoming fight. It, it kind of looks almost doable, but I don't know if we're gonna have enough damage against him. Um, I think I'm just gonna go with the A2. I'm not gonna get double hit and he's probably gonna do the shields, shield afterwards. But I wanted to proc the Leorio's passive and get rid of that early on, even, even though it might feel kind of um, weird that I would use the A2 when the Nar Angora is probably gonna go with the A2 and put shields up in a second, but I had to do it. I think we're gonna protect the Narses instead of Arbiter. She's gonna be fast and take a lot of turns anyway. And I do have my Arbiter in Swift Parry, so maybe we get lucky and that one procs.
Can we kill the Leorios? We might not be able to do it. He has a shield and we don't have defense buff. Yeah, we couldn't do it. Oh, nice. We, we had enough damage for the Duchess. I guess the second hit um, rocked the Helm Smasher. The first one didn't because the first one was like 48k and the second one was 76k or something like that. I guess it wasn't like a super tanky dot, it was more maybe a faster build. Okay, I, I guess that's it. That's kind of weird. I'm pretty sure this account is in the bot, so we actually did beat somebody at very high points. I'm, I don't know if he went easy on me. It's kind of feels weird that I would win against him, but I guess it's a win. I have seen nice getting those primal fragments. I have seen people using Leorios a decent amount, but often the bots are using the Leorios like that. All of the bot accounts from Panda, they like to always pick Leorios, so I'm always very suspicious if I see somebody picking it. Yeah, I don't think we got anything relevant again. I literally haven't gotten a single half decent piece on any of those um, Impulse and Seal sets. But we're gonna need them for Mario's mission, so I might as well keep them a little bit. And yeah, oh, we almost get the second one. We're basically at 26 pr primal shards at this point. I'm really hoping, I mean, so if, if we have event, it's gonna be like... Yeah, it, it, assuming it was on 2x, then I basically have like a quarter chance to get one champion. But I'm really hoping this is the time that I get very lucky and... I don't think I can get 25 primals very fast. I have been stockpiling them forever, so hopefully we will have an event for that soon. Maybe during the Mario's Fusion. It kind of would make sense when we have all of the holiday stuff going on. Maybe they will do it now and maybe that will that will be my chance. I wouldn't even mind getting the Seek front to be honest, which wasn't really considered very good, but as kind of... Uh, we haven't saw it in one fight today. I wouldn't mind getting him or Rolny or any of those kind of... Um, lower tier primal lookers, but of course the main ones I would want to get is Grixia and Lazarus. I probably need Lazarus... Nah, Grixia is so good. Yeah, even though I really need Nuker, probably it's, it would be Krixia, Lazarus and Galatir that I want to get. But I would still want to get Krixia. I mean, she is the best one, e even if I need Nukers. I would of course pick Krixia in every single fight and I would build her in resistance, so she might even be an answer against some of the local teams. Or I mean... And and I would be a local team myself too, so. Galatir is super cool too. I saw that um, the guy who won Reset, Reset on the on this week, Classic Arena Reset, he was actually using Galatir in defense and he's very new, so not many people have him yet. And I remember when we got him, I was um, I was instantly talking about how crazy his kit is. And I think I saw on the second day of the release somebody with him. I really wish I would get him. I think he's basically gonna be the new Duchess. He's also very tanky force affinity champion. And he doesn't have the kind of damage mitigation like Duchess does. Even though, though he does have whale, perfect whale, 
which does give you 15% damage mitigation. But what he really does is he has tons of CC. Third meter, manipulation. I think he even has a yeah, buff strip, block active skills, uh, stun. He, he has so much CC. And he also just revive that um, he will be a very crazy champion to get. Anyway, that's my first video after my three day uh, break. I'm definitely gonna do more videos this week. Do I have anything else to say? Yeah, we did try Quintus today. I guess basically kind of almost in honor of Biohack. And Quintus wasn't very useful, not with my setups. But we actually ended up meeting Biohack today, which was kind of funny coincidence. And I think we even... Did, didn't we win a fight against him with Quintus? I don't think Quintus did anything in that fight, but... I think we did get a win with him against... Yeah. Anyway, that's it for this video. Have a nice Tuesday and see ya.